Greetings Hunters! In this video, we'll be discussing Ruiner Nergigante's new moves and how to best evade them. As always, I've included timestamps in the description below for easy reference. And do note that a lot of Nergigante's old moves have remained unchanged, and as such, our AT Nergigante dodge video is still very much applicable. So do check that out as well. This head slam is a modified version of Nergigante's regular head slam. The main difference is that after slamming his head, he will follow it up with a quick forward charge. Do note that Nergigante will start doing his new moves once he starts growing metallic spikes on his body. The front arms and the head become active hitboxes during the attack animation. It is possible to iframe through this move by rolling through the arms. However, for maximum efficiency, it is best to simply reposition to the side in order to add a quick counterattack during the animation. Make sure the counterattack is quick and make sure that you do it while the animation is still active. Doing it after Nergigante recovers will result in you getting punished. Nergigante will use this move to punish greedy plays as it is near impossible to dodge this move at close range. You have to be very mindful not to overcommit with your attacks. And it goes to follow that being in front of Nergigante is not a good idea. Just like the previous move, Nergigante will start doing this version of the Charge Slam when he has metal spikes growing on his body. The main difference from the normal Charge Slam is that he follows this up with a metal spike explosion that has a cone of effect of around 90 degrees. After avoiding the initial slam, all of the areas outside the cone of effect are safe zones. This move has a lengthy recovery animation, and you can use that to do some strong counter-attacks. If you are out of position, it is also possible to iframe through this move. Nergigante will only do this move if you are located on his left side. During the attack, only his right arm is an active hitbox. You can either strafe or roll away from the right arm. This time, Nergigante will do a combo if you are located on his right side. He has two variations of this move, and these both end with a spike explosion. Both of these can be iframed. To play it safe, simply move away from the cone of effect. After Nergigante stomps on the ground, spikes will shoot out in two cones of effect as seen here. All areas that are not part of the cones of effect are safe zones.
don't get too close to the stump as that can do damage and can cause tremors. If you are out of position, this move can also be iframe. Nergigante is vulnerable during this move, so take advantage. After a quick roar, Nergigante will fly up and then immediately charge at you. His whole body becomes an active hitbox during the attack animation. To dodge this move, you have to strafe sideways, then follow it up with a forward roll. If you are too close, you must dodge a bit to the side and time it on the initial body slam. This move has an exceptionally long range, so be careful. There are three variations of the new dive bomb, and all of them can be predicted basing only on the arm that Nergigante holds up after his roar. If both arms are raised, Nergigante will track the hunter and land always facing his main target. A 180 degree spike explosion will follow afterwards. The left and right versions of this move are simple enough to avoid. All you have to do is steer clear of the landing area and stay on the safe side. This move has a very long recovery animation and you can counter with your strongest attacks. Even if you miss dodging the roar, you still have plenty of time to reposition yourself and do your counter attacks. On the topic of dodging roars, you can time your roll when he starts raising his front arms up. Dealing with the tracking version is a bit more complicated, as the only safe zone would be the area behind Nergigante. In this regard, if you manage to dodge the roar, you can follow it up with a Superman dive. If you don't manage to dodge the roar, you may be forced to iframe through the spikes. You must roll towards Nergigante in order to do so. Always be mindful to keep a good distance away from the landing area. <laughs> 